All right, we're going to do a walk test, and we're going to use uh, text alerts and email alerts. Uh, we'll focus on text alerts at this moment. So we go menu, go to walk test, and we're going to go to silent test. Right, we don't need the bells because we've got our device. Okay, so we've got fourth floor, third floor, right down to basement, and we've got a DCVA. So, fourth floor. All right, there's your fourth floor. And so there's two pull stations, one heat detector and three smoke detectors on the fourth floor. This is called a walk test, not a run test. Remember, one person can do this test. You don't need somebody at the panel that's gonna do a reset on its own. You did the first pull station, now you're going to do the second pull station. There it is. Now, we're not going to do the whole inspection because that's an hour and a half. But if we didn't have text alerts, it would walk test. It would probably take four hours. We're going to go down to the third floor. We pull a pull station on the third floor, and we don't reset the pull station until we know it came in. There it is, third floor. It's on text alerts for the iPhone and also the watch. Okay, we're done with the third floor. We come down to the second floor. You get the idea. Even though you'd finish off the floor, right? There's second floor. All right, and that's how you do a uh, walk test with text alerts. Saves a ton of time, and it keeps the log. Let's just go down to the main floor. There's your main floor, and then you got basement. This is a DCVA. It all works. I've done this probably a hundred times because I had to write the software I had to get it right oh what the heck let's do it basement basement this one's going to be main valve There's your main valve. Okay, I also have addressable devices on this uh, panel. And they work, but in the interest of keeping the video short, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is basically how you do walk tests with text alerts and email alerts. Thanks for watching.